Welcome to After News Delight. So, let's talk about uh, let's talk about Abby Steiner winning two gold medals this weekend. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this one shorter than my last two videos, uh, but I don't know if you guys know what it means for Abby Steiner to have won two gold medals in both relays. Now, this one, she didn't have to work as hard as yesterday for because they were going to win regardless. I mean, you had Britton Wilson and Sidney McLaughlin cleaning that thing up. So even if Abby had messed up, it wasn't even going to be, uh, you know, it, w it wasn't going to be nothing. You know what I mean? It wasn't going to be nothing. So um, that's crazy that we saw what we saw. Um, in these events and so it's so rare all right um, that's what I want you to that's what I want you to know too it's so rare that you see what you saw today this girl is the real bionic woman okay this girl is the real bionic woman she ran 57 races this year dug deep after just having the 200 meters this year this is our first world championships her first meeting as a pro was the trials last month and then she does this her first international event it's the world championships and somehow she came out of here with two gold medals and contributed to both of them like she contributed to both she just wasn't on the team like that's the one thing you guys gotta understand she wasn't just on the team like you know how sometimes you can just be on the team but everybody else is doing the dirty work and everybody else is actually the one that's contributed to what we saw today no what happened here we saw a girl yesterday in the 4x100 get a 9.86 to clean up now look elaine thompson Rod is still injured but she still beat her. And the fact that Lance House and Harrod competed in that match, it didn't, that means she wasn't that hurt, right? She wasn't that injured. She was able to go out there and run. She still ran under 11 seconds. But how you see what you saw yesterday and Abby really go in there and help both teams win. Because when she took the baton here in the 4x400, the race was absolutely still close. Abby didn't do her damage until what the two, the last two hundred meters, the last two hundred meters of her run. That's when the distance started started to open up. So by the time Britton Wilson got that baton, it was it was twenty one jump street. After that, it was done. It was a wrap. It it, it, it was a wrap, bro. It, 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 you could have put the bow on that one right then and there, and so because we knew who was getting it last, and that was Sydney McLaughlin. So everyone knew it was done. It was done. Okay. It was done. D O N E. Okay. D O N E. Um, and the gold get the gold medals. And this is this is just gonna help Abby because this is something that she knows coming into next season. That She basically could just go into that event and say this. She could just say this and say, wow. Wow. I came to Eugene and I got two gold medals before I left as a rookie who barely been a rookie. She's still going to be a rookie next season because it's going to be her first full, first full year as a pro. She could go into next season and say, I did what I did with these times. A 49.99, only one of the five girls in that entire race who ran under 50 seconds. And say, wow, if I can just improve my legs just even a little bit to do the 400 meter flat in the future or do this or that in the 100 or the 200. Abby got this, man. She got this. The only person that's in her way is really Sharika Jackson on that 100 or 200 and then on the 400 it could be Cindy McLaughlin because I think she's moving there and then you're still probably going to have to deal with the theme O and Keely Hodgkinson so it doesn't get easy to win a medal but not every event that that uh, 
uh, Abby goes, and not every pro event that she goes into, you're going to have that kind of competition. That's only on the world stage. You, you really won't have that kind of competition every time, you know. Um, but Abby is going to be one of the best. And we've got such, this is a new era for U.S. track and field. It's, we have found our stars, our young stars, man. Um, we have found our young stars. I'm just waiting for Matthew Bowling to get up here now. Um, and, and a few other um, prodigies that we got still on the horizon. Um, you know, obviously we still got Aria Knighton coming through. But, bro, we, we've got we've got what we need coming up, man. And uh, she's going to be a part of this, man. It's going to be a part of it. I, I want y'all to watch the video uh, of her crying or tearing up at the uh, the national anthem. It meant a lot. I did that video yesterday. Y'all can check it on my channel. And obviously, I think if you're in America, you have access to NBC Sports Channel. I know some of you guys probably overseas probably getting blocked from some of their videos. But uh, but uh, make sure you check that one out. I wish I could post the whole thing, but I can't because uh, of copyright. But uh you guys should definitely check that one out man for real but uh get this video like on your way out of here hit that like button for me definitely hit that like button share this video subscribe to the channel any um any comments i got definitely put them below and if you want to donate to the channel hit that uh thank you button man i much appreciate it but uh definitely subscribe if you do to the zoo though for real but uh i got some more videos coming out man um I, i'm getting ready to talk about uh more names that could be coming to the 400 meter flat the 400 meter open and uh we're going to talk about more of those names uh what we're going to try to do well i got a lot of videos that i'm planning on doing by abby stein i'm going to talk about her as a relay runner uh i probably won't be able to get that video until tuesday morning i'm, I'm going to try to record it sometime tomorrow and get it up either either tuesday morning or wednesday morning so i'm going to try to get it up but uh, I'm definitely making that video. I got the 100-meter video I still got to do. The 400-meter video I still got to do. We're going to do a video about next season for Abby. We're going. This is the place for Abby Steiner content, bro. You definitely want to come here. So I'm definitely going to make those videos. And I got my hype videos, too. Miss Bionic Woman, Abby Steiner, bro. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. At the News Delight.